Hi, my name is Judas Zachary, and uh, I'm Sean Forsberg, and we created Space Invaders. So, as the game loads up here, you can see the normal Space Invader things of three levels of uh, aliens shooting down at a, a player, scrolling back and forth, and the object of the game is to destroy all the aliens before they reach the bottom of the screen and hit the player. So, controls are reset, uh, left, shoot, and turn right. Um, as you can see, pretty simple controls. Um, the player has eight lives. Uh, the color indicates lives. Uh, the more blue it gets, all the way to black, uh, the closer it is to dying. Uh, so this first row has only three lives. The t this middle one has five, and the top one has eight. So uh, I'm just gonna quickly uh, kill up, kill up, go through the first level to show you what happens once you beat each level. Also, while I'm uh, explaining, there's also a god mode in this game, so you can actually have infinite lives, and it is produced through putting, uh, turning the switches uh, to the hexadecimal value AE. Uh, you want to go ahead and do that while I'm playing? So, uh, all up except the, fir except the first one on the, on the upper digit, and then A is... We have upside down. Two. Oh, this guy. There we go. God mode. <laughs> but it's just a, an old take on, or a new take on the old game. A little simpler because we are limited to a, a number of lines of codes and registry settings and resolution. <laughs> but that would be the project. You just go through it, and it does actually have multiple levels on it. So each time you beat the, uh, eliminate all the aliens, it'll start moving faster and faster on later uh, parts of the game. When you do lose, the screen will flash red and black to let you know that you have lost, and you can reset it to go back into the game. Yeah. So as you can see, we went into the next level, and these LEDs will indicate level. So we are on level one, as you can see by the LED. So um, let me go ahead and turn off God mode and just have the uh, player lose, and I will and we'll show you the game over sequence. Almost there, as you can see, it turns dark blue. The more blue it is, all the way once it reaches black, you're dead. So now I think about one to two shots, and it's game over. So that's one. Here's shot number two. If I can get it hit, there we go. And that's the game game over sequence. Also. Uh, in addition to having the screen flash red, um, it will strobe to the level you reach, and it'll keep strobing. Now, since there's only one level, it'll only flash that LED, but uh, if there's more levels, you'll actually see the LEDs progress towards the left. All right. How many hours do you think you spent on this project? Oh, uh, I spent all Thanksgiving. <laughs> it, it was uh, originally going to be a much simpler program, and, and once it, um, Drew's got his teeth sunk into it, he uh, couldn't stop. <laughs> so. Yep. All right, thank you very much, Kesson. Thank you. Yep.